God, we're going across chaos. God, we're going across lies. God, we're going across deception. God, we're going across hurt. God, we're going across pride. God, we're going, God, we're going across, God, we're going across all kind of dilemma. God, we're going across every, every roadblock. We're, we're going across every, every plot, every ambush, everything that the enemy tried to put in the way, God. God, we're stepping aside. God, we're stepping back, God. God, for such uh, a time as this, God, God, you're empowered in us, God. God, you're giving us the understanding, God, to see. God, you're giving us, God, you're folks, God, you're calling out to see where in we need to go, God. We're in the secret place. God, for in that secret place, God, you're speaking to us joy. God, in that secret place, God, you're speaking to us life. God, in that secret place, God, you're speaking to us the instruction. God, when the enemy will come in after flowing, God, your standard will come up and lift up against that enemy. God, because we spent time with you in the secret place. God, in the secret place, God, that's where you called us to, to be prepared. God, you called us to that secret place to be ready. God, to be ready for the enemy, to be ready for any wow, sir, any situation that might come to try to trip us up, God. And God, so we thank you. We celebrate. God, we celebrate deliverance. God, we celebrate. God, we celebrate victory for such a time as this. God, we're going to magnify your name. God, for your name is worthy to be praised, God. God, we're going to praise you at our lowest. At our lowest, God, we're going to praise you. God, we're down. God, we're going to praise you, God, because when we're down, God, your hand is going to lift us back up again. God, God you're going to put us back on a street called straight. And God, we're going to walk in the vocation. God, we're in. God, you call us and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. Now, this is the word. This is the word briefly. This is the word. What God was, let me see, let me see. There's, there's many of you. You're in a place of depression. You're in a place of hurt. You're in a place where you feel like you're lost. You feel like God has forgotten you. You feel like uh, the course that you took, it, it took you off course and you feel like you're out of his will. You, you think that God is mad at you because of certain choices and situations you made. But I'm going to tell you what God did that you didn't even know. God used your warfare. God used your warfare because there's two things that there's two bad things that happen to you. There's two tragedies that hit you twice at the same time. One hits you a certain way and got you and paralyzed you a certain way. But the other one, while the other one was talking to you, the other one was doing something to try to finish you off. Uh, like in football, if you, I was a running back, when you run the ball and when you get tackled, sometimes what men will do will jump on you also. And that's called Paul and all. When the guy's down, jump on him. And so that's what life and that's what the enemy. And that's what the spirit was doing to you, piling on. Piling on you. But little did, little did the enemy know that what the enemy thought that was going to be for evil, God is going to turn around. God has, has turned it around and yet turned it around for your good. See, because what God did with the second thing that came, and it was a warfare, and it was a warfare that you was a victim to, you was weak to. And you went through so many changes. You've been asking God for forgiveness and, and you've asked God to help you and encourage you. And you fighting through, you fighting through and, and you feel like you're under a stronghold. You feel like you're on something that you can't shake loose. See, what God, God suffered it so. God suffered a certain thing, allowed a certain thing to happen. And so what God did, God caused a, another thing to come at you to serve as a distraction from the first thing. And see, see, see the first thing hit you. And see, the first thing was the first love. The first thing was the thing that, that got your attention, that, 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 that pulled you a certain kind of way. And so while that had got your attention, something else came. Something else came to finish you off. But what came to finish you off, what it did, I'm going to tell you what it did, why you were weak and why you were wounded. What it did, it gave you a distraction. It gave you a distraction, but also it served as a place of, uh, 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 of, of helping your, your mental, emotional, and, and physical body to recover. And so in this place where you was in warfare, in this place where you're feeling defeated, in this place where you feel like you're out of God's will, but God was using something, even though it was bad, to protect you or to keep you away long enough where your wounds could heal. And once your wounds heal, then God was waking you up again with strength. And so this is what's happening now. And so your wounds have healed now. And see, that thing had took you off, took you to the left. <coughs> you were doing and, and fighting and dealing with all kinds of stuff. <coughs> but now your wounds have healed. Just like it was, but who was it? Who was it? Uh, Samson. When Samson told Delilah, uh, uh, where his strength lies, and got his eyes cut out. But, but he got on his knees and began to cry out to God. And then his hat, strength came back again. And what he did then, he pulled down the house. And so that's what happened. That's what happened. Wow. Wow. You're in this place where you think you're, you're weak. Why are you in this place where you're dealing with what you're dealing with? And see, cause the thing that you're dealing with now, that expirate, there's an expirate. Now expirate is over. That test is over. That test is ended. That assignment, that warfare. And so what it was doing, you thought it was destroying you, but it was preparing you. It was causing your wound to be healed. You just had to be healed. You just need some time. 
You just needed some time to recover. You just needed some time to gather your thoughts. You just needed some time to get it together, get your mind together, get your heart together. Wherein you're able to focus. Wherein you're able to charge. Wherein you're able to see and do what God has called you to do. But now you're ready. You're ready. God is saying you're ready. You're ready. You're ready. And the thing that you think that you're weak in and you think that you, you're a victim too, God said look again. And so this time you're going to discover strength. This time you're going to struggle joy. This time you're going to discover authority. This time you're going to stir, uh, discover an ability that's going to cause you to become free when that thing is going to try to come and bind you. See, because the scripture says that who is it? And, and Luke 10 and 10 and was it 10 and, and uh, 19 it says that after the Holy Ghost has come up on you, you're going to have all power to trade upon all serpents and scorpions. And if you drink any daily thing that what scripture says, you got all power over there, ain't going to harm you. And so God has given you all power. And so in that all power, that means that everything that comes up against you is powerless against the power that God has given to you. And so as this power, God wants you to wake up, wake up. He wants you to wake up. He wants you to wake up, wake up. And what God is also, God is waking up your dunamis. God is waking up your dynamite. God is waking up your dynamo. It's time. It's inside of, inside of you, there's a, there's a click. Inside of you, there's some hurting. Inside of you, there's some pain. Inside of you, there's some, there's some betrayal. There's some all kinds of stuff that's going on inside. But inside of you, there's an explosion that happened. But inside of that explosion, Explosion that's coming another explosion. You thought it was over. You thought that you thought that you had you, you thought that you had ran out of strength. See, but God gave you a reserve, and that reserve is his name. That reserve is his word. That reserve is his spirit. For he said in his word, it's not by my power, it's not by my might, but by my spirit. And so God is bringing, God is bringing his spirit into your situation. God, as a matter of fact, God is blow. Blowing back into you just like those men, just like that army that had formed back together. They were standing, but they had no life in them. So God made, told them that I'm going to blow. I'm going to breathe in you and you are going to revive. Hear what I'm saying? Your situation, God is going to breathe in it. He's going to blow and it's going to revive. Your marriage is going to blow and it's going to revive. Your heart, and God is going to blow and it's going to revive. God, you understand that God is going to blow and you are going to revive uh, that healing, that, that sickness. There's a sickness that you have that you need to heal. God's going to blow. And healing's gonna come, and you shall be revived. God bless.